Hey everybody, it's Lon Seidman. It's time for another unboxing. And this one, of course, is self-explanatory, the new Raspberry Pi 4. I ordered this like a month and a half ago when it came out and I'm first getting it now. And that's how long it took for me to get it. I ordered it from Element 14, which is one of the official, whoops, <laughs> the official uh, suppliers of this computer. And what's been great about the Raspberry Pi is how inexpensive it is, but how uh, full-featured it is. It's really a full-fledged computer that starts at $35. Uh, this one costs a little bit more because I got the four gigabyte option. I wanted to get the one with the maximum amount of RAM for the best performance because this one really does perform better and you can do more with it. Uh, so having the memory is important. So this one was about $55 plus tax and shipping. Uh, so let's take a look at the hardware real quick. It's different from the prior versions, which means all of the cases that existed for the Raspberry Pi will not fit this one. Everything is in a different place and we're going to have to wait for more cases that support this. But you still have your GPIO pins here so you can address different types of hardware that you might be putting together through software. You got the main processor here. You probably may want to put a heatsink on it if you're doing a lot of heavy duty stuff with it. And the ports are a lot different now. So you'll see that we have a USB type C port. This is now used for power. Before they had a regular USB connector that didn't support the amount of wattage that this one does. So you can uh, have less of those warnings pop up on screen when you uh, put the computer under load. Uh, next to it are two HDMI outputs. You can run dual monitors with this. A lot of folks are using Raspberry Pis for, uh, you know, in, in retail displays and that sort of thing. So it's good for that. But you could also just do a dual monitor setup if you want. You still have your composite audio output here. I think this will do composite video as well. Uh, you have two banks of USB ports here. These are USB 2.0 ports. These are faster USB 3.0 ports. And you've got gigabit ethernet. And I think you're going to get a better throughput on the bus this time versus the prior version. So we'll test all of the speeds of these ports as we get through our main review. And then over here is where you put the SD card slot, which is what it uses for its hard drive to boot up the various operating systems that you can run on it. So there's a lot to explore on here. I'm gonna do a full review of this based on uh, what this new hardware is about versus the old hardware. And I would love to hear things that you would like me to do in that video. So do let me know. And we'll have a review coming up soon on the main channel at lon.tv. And I'm excited to dig into this thing and see what the new Pi is all about. So stay tuned. This channel is brought to you by the Lon.TV supporters, including Gold Level supporters, the Four Guys with Quarters podcast, emudev.org, Tom Albrecht, Brian Parker, and Kalyan Kumar. If you want to help the channel, you can by contributing as little as a dollar a month. Head over to lon.tv slash support to learn more. And don't forget to subscribe. Visit lon.tv slash s.